Hey everyone, it's Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us. This is our blue Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive here in Sydney, Australia. And today we're going to look at some accessories, including these uh, Uber turbine wheel covers for the Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive, 19 inch from EV Base. Let's go through them. Okay, so this is actually the original Gemini cap that comes with the car for the 19 inch wheels. Um, and it's actually quite easy to uninstall to put the uh, new wheel cover on. The one thing I want to point out to you is that you see the alloy is still exposed with the uh, Gemini cap, the original Gemini cap. So if you were to damage this, then this alloy will still get scratched. So that's the beauty of the new wheel cover that you can uh, cover it. So to uninstall the uh, Gemini cap, you just put your fingers in there into one of these spokes and literally just pull it out like that. And they come apart quite easily. One by one, eventually, it should come off like that. So that's the original Gemini wheel cap. And this is the new uh, Uber Turbine wheel cover from EV Base. Uh, coupon code Tesla Tom will get you 15% off. Uh, they are a little bit dirty, I'm sorry. It has been raining here in Sydney, uh, but uh, they, are, they do clean quite easily there. Even with my finger, you can see how much cleaner it is. I'll rub up the dirt there. Um, just showing you the back now. That's what it looks like from the back. And there is a layer of uh, insulation and, and protection as well that it comes with the, uh, comes with the wheel cover that you can uh, stick on there on the back and then to install it's quite easy um, these clips here will latch on to uh, here and some people have said well that might damage the alloy but to be honest the Gemini caps have already damaged the alloy when they installed it in the factory so it's not really uh, any different from putting the new covers on so what you want to do to install it is to find the inset there for the uh, valve inlet uh, for the car there and then you just match it it's really is as easy as doing this, match it up like that, and literally just push it in like that, and it'll just click into place. You see here how easy it is? Within five clicks, it's already installed. One thing I do want to show you is that, remember in the Gemini caps, the alloy was exposed, but now with the new wheel covers from EV Base, uh, they cover the alloy. So if you do have rim rash, if you do scratch the curb, then at least it's protected now. And these are, I think, far cheaper to uh, replace than it is to repair your alloys uh, each time. So I want to be quite upfront with these reviews. So you'll see that um, the Uber Turbine, the direction of the blades are such that, uh, you know, when the wheel turns this way, it cuts the air quite nicely with this front face, right? So it sort of, um, sort of cambers this way and it's quite nice on the left side of the vehicle. It's very aerodynamic, but the, I guess the one downside is that all the covers are exactly the same. So if we walk around to the other side of the car in a second, You'll see now on the right side of the vehicle, because all the covers are exactly the same, um, you'll see now that the blade is still facing this way, but because the wheel is going this way, uh, then this, sh this sharp edge or this, this flat edge of the cover is now trying to push the air away, which is not as good as this flat part of the wheel cover pushing the air away on the left side of the vehicle. And unfortunately, that's just part of the design process for these uh, aftermarket covers. And one more thing to note too is that the original Gemini caps have been designed to uh, give your Tesla Model Y 19 inch probably about 5% extra range. Uh, but even with these wheel caps on, we managed to drive from Sydney to Canberra, uh, you know, in one charge from 100% down to 15% with a fully loaded vehicle. So yes, it might affect your range a little bit with these new covers, uh, but certainly not enough to stop your driving uh, enjoyment. Uh, I've heard viewers say that it can drop the range by a little bit, maybe a few percent compared to the Gemini caps. Uh, but if you don't like the look of the Gemini caps, then certainly these are an option uh, if you don't mind the slight range drop. Okay, so uh, I've got some other accessories to show you. So let's start with these mud flaps from Otterford. Uh, I'll leave all these links in the video description with the coupon codes. Um, we've got them on the uh, front and the back wheels as well. And the whole aim's to, uh, to stop, I guess, any damage from the wheels that might kick up uh, into uh, the bottom of the car. And of course it's been raining, so the car's not in the cleanest condition currently, but uh, you can see that it is good for road trips. If the wheel kicks up anything, it'll be uh, caught on the mud flap here. It does possibly drop the uh, range and efficiency as well of the vehicle slightly because the uh, mud flap is wider than the wheel arch. Same with the back, but again, uh, that's the compromise for protecting your vehicle. All right, so let's move on to the boot of the vehicle. Uh, sorry about the wind noise, everyone. Uh, okay, so inside here we've got Jawa uh, trunk mats and they do fold in half, which is great, so that you can access the uh, subfloor area. And uh, let's move these bags here. And 
with my plates as well and we've got some more trunk uh, underfloor mats as well so that's an all-weather trunk mat and underfloor mat that can go in that subfloor area which is very deep by the way uh, great area to have okay we shut that one put this one down and something else i want to show you too on the side which is great is um these uh covers and buckets for storage for this area here on the side and normally this this area is empty but now with these buckets from uh, otterford um, they're really useful so they make this area very practical and you can store things now like this duct tape see that how normally it's just empty and open inside there so now with the bucket it goes in it's very easy to install and then this is great this felt material here makes it look very oem and very similar to the rest of the map here for the car and that just slots in there perfectly fitted and the same goes for the other side as well and also comes with an easy pull tab like this so you can lift it up like that so good i love these ones and one more thing to note too is uh this hook here this is normally a little hole there um you can see if the camera can show under there like it's actually just a triangular hole it's kind of weird but these hooks from Otterford, uh, they it literally slots in there really nicely and it's very secure so you can hang whatever you want in this area here okay so moving to the front or the front bonnet of your vehicle and this is a very handy uh, desk from Joel where you can sit uh, just you know behind the steering wheel and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside or on the passenger front side as well you can work or eat off this and folds very nicely and sits inside the frunk or the bonnet uh, this car was lucky enough to come with a umc or universal mobile connector from tesla which is great and this is a type 1 to type 2 connector in case you come across any of those in australia so type 1 to type 2 um, this is available from joa little barrel sized connector and then this is a type 2 ev cable and if you're going to buy any cable in australia i recommend this one from evse a coupon code tesla time for five percent off there you go type two it goes into the car and then this side goes into the charger for any chargers that are untethered thank you EVSC. okay so this is the tray table from joel i was showing you earlier from the bonnet and it literally just folds out like this all right and then you just slot it there onto the door handle on the right side right there and then it sits also on the armrest on the right side and then on the left side sits on the armrest here on the center console this is great um, you can you know you can work on your laptop device you can eat really handy actually one of the really good products from Joa. and also fits on the passenger side as well so same notch on the door handle same armrest same center console so if you bought two of these um, you'd have a really good workbench for your tesla okay so uh, more accessories to show you guys so floor mats from joa all weather floor mats uh, same material as the trunk mats you saw earlier uh, for all areas so driver's side passenger side second row something cool to note too is that these are raised or lipped like that so you know if you've got any spills for any liquids it gets caught in the floor mat for cleaning up later as opposed to seeping out to the side onto the carpet below all right let's move down to this area here the center console and if i just open this up here i've got some more accessories from joa so we've got this cool slidey drawer thing very cool and then you've got this uh this little console here which you can stick your usb devices here because this connects to the usb ports down there inside the car and it's very easy to install of course just slip it in like that and push it in all good and there's a light as well so if i turn that on ta-da lights the whole area and there's two extra usb a ports as well below the light so super handy okay so i've got a tissue box here from joa uh, which actually doubles as a regular box with a lid like that uh, got some control pads here for your car from joa as well black one instead of a wood finish one to match the car and then we've got some more um, USB hubs for your car, if you don't like the one I just showed you. Uh, this is from Jawa. Some more ports. It's got a light as well. And this one is from Otterford. So similar theme, slightly different. And um, these actually sit, um, instead of the other one I showed you where it sort of is inside the cubby there, uh, this one actually sits outside the cubby. So let's just see if I plug in one of these. And then this just sits like that, right? 
I install it like this. Okay, and then you can just shut the console there. So if you want stuff sticking out of the uh, center console, then this is a good option for you. If you slide it open like that, you can turn the light on. The light is not as bright for this one. There is a light there you can just see, but certainly an option for you. And similar concept with the ultra food one that sits on top like that too. So that doubles up like that if you want. You can have two, I guess, if you want <laughs> extra. There you go, side by side. Okay, we've got some uh, cup holder inserts from Jawa. It's a nice rubbery silicon material. It just gives your uh, drinks a bit more grip inside there because that's what it looks like without them. And again, with any spills, uh, much easier to take this one out and wash it under the tap as opposed to cleaning this hole here. So as an alternative, if you don't want uh, something that sticks out like the Jawa and if you don't want the branding like that, you can use an alternative from Ultraford. So this is a clip, looks like that. And it just slots inside the divider there. So it makes it two separate drink holders. Okay, so under the uh, armrest here, we've got uh, a armrest organizer from Jawa, and this just gives you an extra layer of uh, storage. So then that just flips, slips out very easily like this. And then that just, that's the original cubby area. And that just slips back in very easily as well. This is the uh, Jawa torch. Um, also has an auto function where, a um, bit hard to show in the light, but at nighttime, if it's dark, um, it's got automatic function where when you lift up the rest, then the light comes on. And I'll just turn it on for you. That's what it looks like with it on. But I'll just put it back into auto. And that can be charged from a micro USB charger. And uh, this is a uh, laptop USB-A, USB-C uh, charger. Gives you 100 watts, so uh, powerful charging. And that just slips into the 12 volt connector, which sits here. There's one here between inside there. See that? And that just slips into there. You can plug in your devices from there. Okay, so this is the Joa 60 MagSafe uh, phone mount. And 60, because it basically is, um, you can rotate it pretty much in any direction. It's a MagSafe and it's charging as well by USB-C, plug there, and then it's uh, suction cup to the back of the screen, very strong. And see the wire comes down here and I've also just tucked it behind uh, this console here. And this winds all the way around the back of the car and plugs into the USB-C port down there. Okay, next up is uh, hanging over the glove box is the Joa bag hooks. They come in a set of two. Super handy for bags, handbags, uh, takeaway. Um, and yeah, I've actually quite enjoyed these, getting takeaway for the family, uh, or shopping for that matter. Uh, just sits onto the glove box there. Okay, so inside the glove box, we've got a Joa um, USB hub. I'll just pull this out, show you what's in there. So you've got here, uh, instead of USB key or SSD, I've got a 256 uh, gigabyte SD card uh, for fast writing for sentry mode, which then slots into the, this uh, port here. And the data port is in the glove box. So this is where you must put uh, any storage device to capture sentry mode in dash cam. And then on this side, you've got three extra USB-A ports for extra versatility. Okay, and to plug it in, Literally, you just plug it in. There you go, your sentry mode dash cam is good to go. Okay, so uh, one more thing to show you in the front is uh, this tray here that sits behind the screen from Otterford. Put more items in there, and it slots very nicely in the area behind the screen, very stable. And this is the white version here in case you've got the white interior. And again, just uh, that's what it looks like from the back here. And I'll just show you the black one here behind. They've got these sticky pads, so See, that sticks to my finger, and that's how they are secured to uh, the car. Okay, so uh, the roof, uh, the glass roof of the car, we've uh, put in these Jowa sunshades. As you can see, it's a pretty sunny morning, uh, and it's blocking out most of the light here from, uh, the, uh, from the roof. And it's not 100%, but it's good enough. Um, so, yeah, it makes it very cozy inside the cabin there. And it also comes with, a little bag, Jawa bag, you can carry them in. 
And uh, let me show you how to uh, pull it down if you don't want it anymore. So, see these little tabs here as well? See that? I'll just pull it down first, but so you can see the tabs. So that's how you remove it, just very gently. Um, but these tabs here, with the pry tool that comes with the um, sunshade, you just slip it over uh, the trim there. Right, okay, and I'm going to attempt to close this for you in a confined space. So, twist it. Hey, first go. So, there you go, folds into like a eye shaped. And then do the same for the back one. And it just sits very nicely in this carry case like that. Zip it up. Boom. Um, and you can see the difference now, the glass roof with and without the sunshade. So without front area and then the back uh, with it covered. So I think it does make a difference. Okay, so we're gonna open this up and try not to hit Joy and the camera at the same time. Just whoop, whoop, controlled opening. Yes, how good's that? Okay, and then to install it back, Okay, so overhead, and just line it up with the tabs that you've previously done. And on this side here. Yeah. Okay, into there. There you go. There, yeah, very easy. Okay, so uh, in the second row now, and behind these seats, um, we've got these Chihuahua, uh MagSafe holders, and if I just put my phone there, there you go. So if you've got kids, you want to show them some videos and whatnot, keep them entertained during a road trip, that's what these are good for. Rotate them this way and that. And they are basically this, so it's just, see that, like a little uh, bar there and hooks, and they just slide into the uh, headrest there. Okay, so more floor mats from Jawa. This is a nice long all-weather runner. Uh, again, lipped, so any spills from the kids or the second row occupants, easy to clean up. Um, and then we've got uh, another tissue box from Jawa. Thank you, Jawa. And um, this actually wouldn't otherwise fit in that slot. Uh, this is more designed for Model 3, but uh, Jawa have given me this platform, which is attached by Velcro. Here, the Velcro there. And it makes it quite a stable platform there. You can put the tissue box or whatever you want in that area. And you've got some more subfloor storage too. So, really, really handy. Fit my whole fist in there. See? Um, as an alternative, if you don't want that, then this from Otterford is a storage bin. And that can actually sit in that slot there. So where the tissue box and platform are as an alternative. Okay, so that's how the bin sits in that center area. Very cozy, very snug. It's been designed for this area. Uh, just to note, it doesn't, uh, it's not compatible with this Jawa floor mat. So if you've got another type of floor mat or the original OEM floor mats, then this is what this bin is good for. And then you can open it up like that and pause, put stuff in there. And a couple more under seat trays. So this one is from Otterford. See that? It slides out like a drawer. Got a few things in there, really handy. Extra bit of storage. This is a Joe umbrella, by the way. Um, it's quite good. It's like an anti-rebound umbrella. Um, and then the other side, we've got this tray from Joe. There we go. Also slides out like a drawer. It sits underneath the seat. This goes quite all the way in there. And the beauty of this one is that it actually opens out like a bucket. So you've got handles there shallow bucket or so flips open a bit deeper like that so it's really deep bucket now there you go very versatile okay so that's the Joe umbrella I was talking about earlier inside the car and it comes in five colors so the car colors so you've got blue red white midnight metallic silver and uh, black so I said anti rebound because you just press that and opens up like that and then to close it just press it again and just shut it pretty cool 
All right, everyone, you've been watching Tesla Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Uh, these are the EV based wheel covers for Model Y, along with all the accessories you saw today on this video. They're all in the video description below with their links and also their relevant coupon codes. Check them out for yourselves, and thanks for watching. Until the next Ludicrous Feed video, happy charging.